So, I have some bad news today from your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. Female Pakistani activist Kalima Baloch was found dead in Toronto. According to the German newspaper Dutch Well, missing Pakistani activist Kalima Baloch was found dead in Toronto. She was a critic of human rights abuses in Pakistan and a supporter of autonomy for Balochistan, the southwest region of Pakistan. So, rumors are that she was abducted and killed by the ISI, Pakistan's spy agency. This wouldn't be surprising. This is actually quite terrible news, for this means that even all the way in Canada, nobody is safe. As you know, many of my activist friends, such as Haris Sultan, Abdullah Gandhal, and others, frequently criticize Pakistan. All of us frequently criticize Pakistan's human rights record, Pakistan's treatment of minorities, Pakistan's treatment of Ahmadis, Shias, and others, and Christians. If this is true, really this means none of us is safe from this menace. Pakistan needs to be held to account for this murder. Of course, they were very clever if they did it, making it look like a suicide. But the fact that she was a high-profile activist and she was also being threatened means this is very unlikely that it was a suicide. Kalima Mahrab, a Pakistani human rights activist who fled Pakistan to Canada in 2015, was found dead in Toronto, Canadian police revealed on Tuesday. She disappeared near Lake Ontario on Sunday. The 37-year-old activist's body was found near Toronto's downtown waterfront on Monday. So she's pretty much the same age as me. And she's an activist just like me. Mehrab, also known as Kalima Baloch, was a critic of human rights abuses in Pakistan and a supporter of autonomy for Balochistan, the southwest region of Pakistan. The region has been dealing with various levels of insurgency and witnessed a number of terror attacks in the past 15 years. Meanwhile, Baloch separatists have been fighting the Pakistani state, seeking to separate what they see as a homeland from the Islamic Republic. Kalima Baloch was also critical of the ISI. Pakistan's intelligence agency, which has been accused of abducting human rights activists inside Pakistan. Baloch, who once featured on a BBC's annual list of 100 inspirational women, fled Pakistan after terrorism charges were leveled against her. Toronto police said they didn't believe the death happened under suspicious circumstances. However, the police also said it was difficult to tell from the autopsy if her death had been a result of a crime or an accident or a suicide. Latif Johar, a friend of hers, told the news agency AP that he did not believe her death was suicide or an accident. Her family can't believe that it was an accident or something else as we know she was threatened. Her friends and family members were previously abducted and killed, said Johar. Johar told the BBC that Baloch had received anonymous threats saying that someone would send her a Christmas gift and teach her a lesson. Karima Baloch's disappearance and eventual death bear similarities to that of Sajid Hussein Baloch, a Pakistani journalist who went missing on his way from Stockholm to Uppsala in March. His body was found on April 23rd in the Frias River outside Uppsala. Sajid had settled in Sweden in 2017 after fleeing Pakistan in 2012. He escaped Pakistan after receiving threats related to his reporting on the separatist conflict in Balochistan. Amnesty International has called for an investigation into Kalima's death. The perpetrators must be brought to justice without recourse to the death penalty, said the organization. The Pakistan High Commission in Canada said it has approached the Canadian government to determine the cause of her death. Let's not forget Kalima. Let her memory not be in vain. We should continue the struggle against all oppressive regimes all over the world, all, all the fascists that want us to be silenced. Let's not, let's not forget Karima, let's not forget her struggle, and let's all do what we can to make the world a better place. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim Abdullah Samir signing out.